Hi all folks, this is Max from Xenomax.com and hi on Android.com. So today I wanted to talk to you about uh, why do you need to root your Android phone. Um, some of the reasons I'll outline, when you root your phone, basically it gives you full control over your phone. You can modify it, um, install new ROMs, um, you know, usually carriers like Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T, and Sprint, all of them, they charge you for uh, extra for internet you paid for already, $20, $30 a month. But with a rooted phone, you can hack it, um, you can install Wi-Fi Tether for free, and it's completely free, so you don't have to pay that. I haven't paid a single dime for my Wi-Fi Tethering on all four carriers. I have all phones, I have Sprint, um, Verizon, um, AT&T, and um, T-Mobile, where's my T-Mobile, there, there we go, T-Mobile. I haven't paid a dime to these carriers, for the internet I paid already, this is a ridiculous, it's only the US carriers that do it, if you go to like Korea, it's part of your data plan, and uh, you know, they have, um, you know, you just, it's part of the, you know, operating system, and that's what Android is about, but carriers are just trying to rob you, just, they want to make, you know, every dime out of you, because, you know, all your hard-earned money, they want, they want to go into their bank account through their wireless tether program, but you don't have to help them, uh, by rooting your phone, getting free Wi-Fi tether, and also you can even get USB tether, which allows you to charge your phone, uh, on your laptop while at the airport and get free tether on 3G, 4G, whatever. And uh, rooting also gives you LED notifications, hacks. Uh, some ROMs and some kernels let you do that. Um, also, it lets you uh, access your phone via SSH, via Drop Bear. Some phones do that and you can also hack it yourself. And also, uh, one of the coolest thing about, I like, the main reason I root it is because of the Wi-Fi tether and also overclocking your phone. Uh, what is overclocking? Like um, this phone, T-Mobile Galaxy S2 comes with a 1.2 giga, 1 gigahertz dual core processor. Now if I overclock it to like 1.4, 1.6 gigahertz, that's almost 30 to 40 percent more performance out of the same CPU. Uh, that means I can have the same performance that uh, they're gonna come out with Galaxy S3 next year, right now, you know. Even though it drains the battery and stuff, but I can still run those top of the line 3D games that would be super laggy, that won't even run on current smartphones. I can, you know, in theory, run it on my phone. But there's no, you know, games like that. But it's good to know that, you know, you can overclock it that much, which is something you can't do with an iPhone. That's why I stay away from them, because it's a lockdown system. Um, and you can you can kind of jailbreak it and stuff, but you know the core the code for Apple is a lot more locked down. Well, it's pretty much closed source as far as the system goes. Whereas the Android, you can hack the kernel, um, the ROM, and add all this stuff. So those are great. Now there's even more um, when you root your phone. You can get better battery life. How do you get better battery life? Um, ROM developers, kernel developers, well first of all kernel is your underlying, if for those of you who don't know, it's the underlying system that runs the uh, Android OS. Basically it's a Linux system. Uh, it's a Linux kernel and basically a Java virtual machine uh, running on top of the Linux. That's, you know, the ROM kind of. Well the ROM includes the kernel and the ROM, usually. So um, the kernel, by being able to hack the kernel, you can overclock it, um, you can, you know, get better, better battery life, um, you know, add Cisco VPN, enable OTG mode so you can connect USB peripheral devices like, you know, you can connect your, um, your USB flash drive using like a homemade OTG adapter I made here, you know. And then I can, you know, plug in my USB flash and access my USB flash, or I can even put my plug in my external hard disk, USB hard disk, and ex access that too. Instead of having to copy over or, you know, whatever. Um, I kind of got lost there. Uh, anyway, that's what 
you know, what, that's what rooting can do for you and it can give you better battery life because the ROM developers, they'll get rid of all the bloatware that's taking up all your extra energy and, you know, and you can even underclock your phone. Like, this is running 1.2 gigahertz, underclock it to 500 megahertz. Um, that's going to use like maybe 20-30% less voltage, uh, meaning you'll get much longer battery life. Your phone might run a little bit slower. But actually this phone, I've, I've ran it at 500 megahertz and it runs most apps just fine because the apps weren't designed for, uh, you know, 1.2 gigahertz just yet. Yeah, most apps, you know, maybe the 3D gaming apps, yeah. Uh, but most apps, they're not designed for, you know, this super high speed, you know, dual core 1.2 gigahertz. That's why Apple underclocks their iPhone 4S to 800 megahertz from uh, dual core 1 gigahertz. Uh, so that's another way you can get a lot better battery life, even if you ran it at stock um, CPU frequency, you'll still get better battery life because the ROM developers will take out all the stuff you don't need and you know, it, it just makes it better. Um, also, another thing that's good about rooting an Android phone is that you can back up your whole, um, your whole phone, like the whole ROM. Like let's say I broke the screen and I'm gonna get a new phone. Then I can root it, back up my whole ROM, which saves my apps, my settings, everything, the whole system, and then it'll copy, uh, it'll save it to my SD card, and then I just copy the contents of my backup to my hard disk, get a new phone, uh, root the new phone, and restore my whole ROM. There, I, I have no downtime, and this is something that Sprint's not gonna do for you, but you can do it yourself. Um, later maybe they'll, they'll commercialize this, but right now you can do it, it's cool. And also, another thing about rooting is you can back up your apps. Let's say you're moving from app to uh, ROM to ROM, um, you can back your app, back up your apps using Titanium Manager, back, Titanium Backup app, and uh, back up your apps and then put the new ROM, and then restore your apps in one, you know, one swipe or one click or whatever. Um, and also another thing that rooting gives you is that you can enable different file system like you know let's say I connected my NTFS uh, hard disk through my OTG and it will recognize it because I have a you know that's that's kind of you can do it no one has actually well actually somebody has done it before on other phones so you can do that too um, or you can enable, you know, because the kernel is Linux kernel and it, it already comes with all these different features, um, it's a matter of somebody going in enabling it and making it work with Android. So the possibilities are endless. So maybe one of these things is something you need. Maybe you don't want to pay $20 extra to your carrier. Um, that's number one reason, like, I get all the time. People, some people, a lot of people, <laughs> Um, on Sprint phones especially because they have unlimited plan they're not even they don't even have Comcast or home internet they just tether all their internet off their 4G service off Sprint or 3G even um, and I guess Sprint doesn't care because it's supposed to be unlimited um, and uh, you know maybe something you know you need better battery life or you know you, you want to be able to put new themes like you want to put cool themes or you know the Reasons are endless, but the reason for staying on a stock ROM, it, there's not that many. Other than that, you, you know, you're, you know, you're, you're too dumb, and you, you don't want to do anything with, with your phone. I mean, there are people like that. I, you know, I swear, like my parents, they don't know anything about phones. They're, they're not gonna root their phone. But uh, people who, you know, you can type, and you have some time on your weekend, um, you can root your phone. You know. Uh, that's what my videos are about, my channel's about helping, um, you know, everyday people, Joe, people, you know, uh, everyday, blah, <laughs> everyday people like you and me to root your phone and take full control, you know, that's what rooting means, full control. You want power, you go root it. Anyway, that's just my um, long version of why you should root your phone. And, uh, you know, it's way better than, you know, Apple can do. You can't do, like, I, I listed maybe 10 features, just 10 features that rooting can, on an Android phone can do. Um, Apple maybe can do, like, two of those, you know. So, thanks, y'all. Subscribe. I'll have more cool videos.